This little puppy is fearful and nervous. He lacks confidence. What can we do about it? In this video, I'm going to show you how to teach a puppy to go up and down stairs. But first, let me introduce you to Dazzle. When we got Dazzle, she was over five months old and she had no confidence at all. We had to build up her confidence to teach her to be a happy learner and then we were able to teach her how to do lots of things. Well, we're in the same situation now. Hello, I'm Sean Kantayashi with Salkin Valley Cute and Cuddly Schnauzer. This little boy, chocolate wonder here, beautiful green eyes. He is a little over 16 weeks old and he has no confidence in his ability to learn. In fact, all he wants to do is snuggle, cuddle like this. And this is an example of a puppy that has not had any training. So he was extremely well-bred. He is DNA clear for everything and he is gorgeous, but no confidence and no uh, trust in his own ability to learn. So we are going to begin today building his confidence, teaching him how to learn, and unlike what we normally do with eight week old puppies, we're going to start with teaching him stairs. Why? Why are we doing something a little different? Well, normally we would start with teaching him to lure and get up on the places bed, which we will do. But I really need him to be able to go up and down steps and given his size, he will be able to do that. It's also relatively easy for us at this age. It's not easy at eight weeks old, so they're too small. But at this size, he's ready to learn stairs. So come along with us on this adventure as we show you how we are beginning our training work with this beautiful little chocolate schnauzer boy. I wanted to show you how we started off this morning by having Honeybee do her full routine while the puppies are watching. And so Devin's gonna have Honey Bee show you box. So box and then stairs. And we do this in front of the puppies so that they get used to thinking that it is just completely normal that our dogs do this. So we might have Honeybee do stairs again. Devin's already had her doing stairs quite a bit so that the crew over here that's watching our little <laughs> chocolate boy, Larry, and our cute little peanut here. Yes, her cute little peanut who gets lost under there because she's so tiny. Our little sparkle. So they are watching as Honeybee and Devin do the, there you go. This helps the puppies, again, just to think this is normal and everybody here does this. We also teach our dogs to do wobble so that they get used to standing on something that moves. All of this helps build their confidence. We typically start all of this with our puppies at eight, nine, 10 weeks old so that they feel confident and secure in their footwork. Some of you may recall that we also got Dazzle when she was 16 weeks old. And while it did take us longer to train her, than it does most of our little puppies that are born here, we were able to completely train Dazzle to the level of being a therapy dog. Dazzle will do everything we ask her to do now with great enthusiasm. So we were able to build Dazzle's confidence, even though when she arrived here, she had very little confidence. Now, everything, wobble, box, stairs. And so these are the sequence that we will be teaching the puppies how to do steps. 
If you are wanting to teach a dog to do steps, we're showing you step by step what you need to do. So having them learn to get on the places bed, having them learn to wobble, having them learn to do a box type situation, and then conquering stairs. We'll show you as we are doing this with a puppy who has no confidence. Once puppies have learned the basics, they can start doing much more advanced things like pushing this grocery cart, which Dazzle loves to do. All of our older dogs think this is so much fun. They also will push this little tykes toy Yes, push. Yes, push. Yes, Basil. Great job. job. First step in all training is to teach your puppy to follow a lure. So in order to teach him to go up and down steps, we've got to start with a lure. A lure requires something that smells great. In this case today, we're prepared with both a really wonderful cheese that has a good strong smell to it, as well as some ground beef. Let's see what he likes best. This is Devin. And for those of you who are new to uh, our channel here at SVCC Toy Schnauzers, Devin and I work very closely together to train all of our puppies and you can see Devin is holding some of the cheese to see if we can get him interested in following a lure. He did eat a big breakfast this morning, so it'll be interesting to see. So we're starting off with just getting him to come up on the places bed. And if he's not interested in the cheese, we're going to switch to the ground beef. But dogs that are not confident it can sometimes take them a little bit to learn to follow a lure. He's starting to be interested in the cheese. Yes. Yes, good job. I appreciate all of your comments and suggestions about a name for this little boy. We did narrow it down to our uh, Top five from your suggestions. And hopefully you've seen the poll that we have going on right now on our community tab where you can vote for the final name. In other words, that's right. We're letting you, our YouTube yes. viewers, vote for what his name will be. You can be. vote by going to the community page on our YouTube channel, SVCC toy schnauzers and then you will see the poll here so the options for names chocolate bourbon guinness mocha moose and chocolate pecan pie please vote let us know what you think here's what i mean when i say we've got a couple of different options so here's the ground beef and the cheese, we've got them in little baggies. But as is typical of a puppy that does not have a little confidence, really all he's wanting is just to get in Devin's lap and cuddle and hug her. But now that we've gotten out the ground beef, ha, maybe we found what his nose likes. Yes, good job. We say yes when we are wanting to anchor Mark what the puppy is doing. Yes. And so yes. when we're just teaching a lure, we're saying yes as he eats the yes. treat. And then as he moves in the direction that we want him to move in, we say yes, and we mark that for him. So what I did was I set him up in front of the smaller yes. step yes. and had Devin reach across the step to get his nose. Yes. I want to get his nose focused. Yes. And now he doesn't know what to do with those back feet. So he's, he's gotten himself up on the front part of the step, but he doesn't know how to pick those back two feet up yet and go to the next height level. 
Again, this is why we like to start this ourselves with our little puppies at, I don't know, four, five, six weeks old. We've got them starting to move up and move on surfaces that wobble, for example. So puppies get used to this kind of movement. Yes. Now you can lure him off of the box. Actually, what he's doing is he's coming over to get in my lap because he sure does love cuddling with me. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take him over and put him on the wobble. Yes, wobble. Yes, wobble. Yes, wobble. Yes, wobble. This will be something that we do over and over to get him used to surfaces like this, movement. He says, I'm happy to go back in with all of my buddies. Yes, wobble. Yes, wobble. He is seven pounds. This little girl will probably be about seven pounds full grown, so Sparkle. And as a result, we won't be teaching Sparkle to climb steps anytime soon. We will wait quite a while. But Larry here, her brother, could definitely learn to climb steps pretty easily. So the front paws are moving there and the back paws are not. So he's, he's learning about that feeling. Let's lure him now back yes. over. Oh, oh, good job. Yes, wobble. Yes, wobble. Okay, so since he's gotten that, we might do that five times in a row. And I'm, I'm telling you this as you are watching, that we'll do that five times in a row to reinforce it for him. I won't necessarily show you all five times that we have him do it, but that's what's gonna happen now, five times in a row. There's a lot going on here. He's learning to follow a lure at the same time that he's learning about movement. He's also learning about Devin and working with her, building trust with her. And we have found his treat of choice. That ground beef has definitely gotten to his nose, and he says, this is good. Yes. Yes. Good job. Yes. Yes. So, Devin, when you pick him up like that from the behind, pick one foot up one foot. and okay. let him bring the other foot up so he gets right. used to that movement because he's not familiar with that idea of taking yeah. that step. Yes. So, one foot up. There you go. And now he will move the other foot up. That's the intention anyway. <laughs> so, here we go. If um, Maybe I'll take some of that and we'll yeah. keep going this way. You go, yes, yes. Good job, yes. So Devin is again going to be luring him up and putting one foot up at a time yes. so that he can get the feel of that movement. Yes. And now you could take one of the front legs and put it up. There you go. Yes, good job. Yes.
So to have a puppy that's over 16 weeks old that has never learned how to climb steps, again, it just takes a little longer to teach this than it does with a puppy that we've started with. We typically start our puppies at six weeks old, jumping up onto the places bed. So they're learning about heights. They're learning about heights even at four weeks old with us when we raised them here because we put some things in their playpen area that have different elevations to start to teach them about depth perception. Throughout the week this week, I will be working with him and Sandy and Sarah and Devin will also be working with him on this. So we will show you the progress that we make and how we are training him. So Devin, what you're likely going to need to do is take one paw, one front paw there and start to bring it down he says, what is this? <laughs> what is happening? But again, for those of you who are following along, I want you to see this is what a puppy looks like when it has just no confidence. No sense that, hmm, I'm a good learner. I can figure this out. Nope. This boy says, all I want to do is cuddle and I don't want to be in this situation. So what we're gonna do now, again, it's very hard for me to film when I'm training a puppy. So this is why I like to do it with Devin because I can show you what's happening, but we're just helping him come down so that he can get a sense that, oh, it is possible to do this. Again, he's going to learn to do it. There you go, yes, good job. So we're gonna do our little traditional, okay, cuddle here with him. We've been working with him now for a nice period of time. And so just getting him, yes, okay. The, the truth is he's already very, very comfortable being cuddled. He's so calm and relaxed. His temperament is phenomenal. So he loves being touched and played with, which is what I've been doing now with him for uh, days. I wanted to show you a little bonus here. Larry is... 12 weeks old, and so he is a month younger than yes. the chocolate boy you were just seeing. Yes. And his tail, notice how his tail is just wagging like crazy. He has more confidence than the chocolate boy does. So Larry is going to be living in New York City, and he will be going through several weeks of our puppy prep school training. But see that tail wagging? He's going to learn very quickly. He will learn much more quickly than the chocolate boy you just saw because he's already very happily following a lure. He's very interested in what we're doing. So again, this is the benefit of starting younger. There's some I think brain science, neuroscience that says once a puppy gets to be over 16 weeks old, it is more challenging to teach them if they haven't already learned to be good learners. And this is why I often say to people, oh, please don't wait to start training. Sometimes people will say, oh, I'm going to wait until they're six months old or a year old to start training. And I say, no, 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 no. Training actually starts at a very young age. And you may as well go ahead and start them on really good training right away the day you get them. So Larry is doing very well, following the lure, up on the places bed. Let's see if we can, there's a sit. Yes, yes sit. sit. Yes, sit. Yes, sit. So this is the way we normally start with an, a six week old puppy actually. Larry will learn so fast here, in part because he's watching other dogs do this. He'll think it's normal. 
but also we will be having three sessions a day with him where he's doing our basic routine. And he will also be brushed and combed every day, paw pads touched, ears played with. All of that happens in our puppy prep school program every day. So Larry, we are so excited for you and what lies ahead for you. So Larry's been doing spin and sit and down very consistently now following the lure and it seems like he also likes the ground beef. Am I? <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. So even though they had ground beef, by the way, this morning in their breakfast, we know that their nose loves that. I will point out to you. Yeah, I'll point out to you. They still have food left in their breakfast bowl right over here. So it's not as if they are super hungry. It's more learning to follow a lure and understanding that it's a reward understanding that, hey, I'm doing something well. Right, Miss Burberry? Burberry loves her training routines every day. Sit. Yes, sit. Yes, down. Yes, down. Yes. Yes. Oftentimes, when we're working with puppies and teaching them, luring them off of the places bed, they say, wait a minute, you've spent so much time teaching me to get up on the places bed. So we're actually moving him a little bit faster than we normally would. We would normally have him spend several days on the places yes. bed, but since we yes, have him in our puppy prep school for a short period of time, we want to get him as far along as we can. Yes, so you see here, he is happily trying out the wobble and his tail is wagging, he's curious. So he is much more confident than the little chocolate boy that you saw us working with a few moments ago. Yes, wobble. Yes, wobble, wobble. So you can see here, he is now fully up on the wobble board with all four feet on the wobble board, learning about movement. This is fantastic. And so Devin, you can let him come off when he wants to. There you go. Yes. Yes. Good job. Good job. So now we're going to lure him over to the box and have him see if he will come up onto the box. But he's giving us a cue that says, hey, I think I've had enough and uh, notice again, tail is wagging. We might just try just a little bit here. I would never do this with an eight week old puppy. What I'm about to do, as soon as an eight week old puppy says, hey, I'm finished for the day, we make it okay. But since he's 12, 13 weeks old, we're going to see if we can get him just to do this once or twice. There you go. And again, he's learning to bring those back paws up. Yes. Yes! Larry, you're gonna learn so quickly. Yes, Larry, you're a smart boy. Yes, box. Yes, yes. And so again, part of what's happening there is teaching them that things might move under your feet and it's okay. You can be confident even when that happens. Nicely done, Larry. Devin, if you put your foot up against the purple, there you go, yeah. and now put the treat on the floor in front of your foot. On the floor. So let's see if he says, ah, I'll come get that. So you're going to keep your foot in front of that purple box so it doesn't slide on him. Again, just building the confidence. He's thinking about it. His tail is wagging there. He's really thinking about that treat. All right, so now take another treat in your hand and we'll lure him. He can now see that there's a treat on the floor which he's going to get when he gets to it. But we'll go back to the lure behavior. This is all new for him. And if you're a dog breeder 
and you're watching this, please do things to intentionally get your puppies exposed to movement like this when they are really little because it will help them as they mature and go to live in their new homes. So good job, Larry. Good job, Devin. What a pretty boy you are, Larry. Isn't Larry doing so well? Yes, he did so. He picked up on everything so quickly today. Such a smart boy you are, Larry. Yes. <laughs> Each day we're going to show you the progress that we're making with this boy as he learns stairs and learns to follow a lure. So join us on this fun adventure as we take this little boy from being uh, lacking in confidence, lacking in skills, to the point where he's a therapy dog. Again, join us on the adventure. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up. Please hit the subscribe button below and join us as we have a commitment to creating beloved family pets. Yes! And Larry, I'm so excited about your new family and where you're going to be going very soon.